Hey guys, it is Jayma here. Welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've been on this account. This isn't an or a hardcore Iron Man progress. Um, I hate the assassin. Fucking thing. We've got 119 on right now, and it's like 1 p.m. for me, which is pretty rare. Usually at this time, we have like maybe 60 or 70. Um, but the server's been doing well, and I wanted to make a video. Um, I've had a couple questions about perks. And I've I gave wrecked you and Noobzone some dollars and Sipsick, but um, and if you guys haven't already, you should definitely watch those guys' videos because they're very good. Um, if you're not sure where to progress, they are pretty entertaining. Um, Noobzone's latest video that came out yesterday or this morning for me, um, yeah, that that video was awesome. And I would watch it. It's like 20 minutes long. It's full of progress. And it is very entertaining to watch. And while Iron Chode isn't um, producing any videos. Uh, yeah. You can supplement your content with that. Um, I'm trying a new filter. Um, usually I'm blue. I'm currently purple. Um, so let me know if you don't like it. But I wanted to change it up. Because the sky in the last one was a bit shit. But I kind of like the bright ones. Um, anyway, this video is about perks. Um, I wanted to show this um, interface. I'm not sure if I've ever made a video of this interface since it's been added. Um, I can't actually spawn dollars. I'm, a, I'm on my normal account. Um, but if I pull out the dollars I do have, um, you can now store dollars in this interface. So, so I have four dollars st stored in it right now. Um, and it will also track your current progress with the donor ranks. Um, so right now there is obviously bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and master. Um, there will be soon grandmaster. Um, I won't go into that in this video. Um, so these are like the progress bars. Once you hit 20, you'll be in bronze, and then 50 is silver, 100 is gold, platinum is 250, diamond is 500, and then master is over 1,000. Um, so once you've got to this stage, um, you'll get a heap of benefits from each rank. Um, so if you're new to the server, I wouldn't really care about these. You want to get bronze so you can access this awesome donor area. Um, as you can see, like pretty much everyone's skilling here. Um, cause there's some pretty good methods, which I'll go through. Um, but perk wise, um, if you're looking for the best perks to buy at the start of your account, let's say you have a budget of 50 bucks. Um, I would be focusing on Soul Siphoner. Soul Siphoner just makes it so Soul Split is more effective for healing. Now, a lot of the early game bosses, you can hand Soul Split and you can get away with it. And this just makes that a little bit extra um, easier. So it's a bit makes it so Soul Split more effective. Um, so you don't have to worry about your health as much. Um, there's obviously some really good and affordable um, skilling perks. Uh, a lot of these are very useful. Green thumb, your yeed will be noted um, and it will be in immune to disease. Uh, and then you've got pretty much one for every single skill. So lumber legend is wood cutting, thieving, herb lore. Um, this one's very good if you're an iron man or a main account and you want to get your own herbs. Um, monsters have the ability to drop a box with a few random clean herbs. This really stacks up. So if you I go here and I go herb. I got 600 of these. Let's quickly open these. Um, I should, it should send me a video. Yeah, so look how many herbs I'm just getting. And this is just passively from the PVM that I've been doing, like Slayer and stuff. And if we go to my clean herbs in here, I have pretty much all the herbs I could use um, for the next, I don't know. I could probably get 105 herbal with that amount on um, 5x. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's a good perk if you want it. Uh, Master Fisherman isn't a huge deal, but no longer requiring bait is quite nice. Um, and then you get, get a 33% chance of catching two fish, which is like a small benefit. Delicate Craftsman, uh, no thread. I think it also processes quicker. Um, Dungeons Master, it's it's okay. Persuasion, this is one of the perks that you need to get. This perk is probably the best perk in the game. Um, if you like Slayer, I love Slayer. Um, I could just do Slayer all day and have done in the past. Um, but yeah, it basically makes it so you can reset your task back to back to back to back to back. 
without ruining your task streak. It also makes it so you can basically pick your task because um, you'll get a permanent VIP ticket um, effect, which basically means when you get a task, it will give you an option between two. So the odds are you will eventually find your task. And the cool thing is, let's see if I actually have a good task here because I don't want to skip it. Cool, I don't have a task. If you have this, I'll have to um, switch to rail out. But if you have this perk, summon another master, let's go, um, let's go with Mandrith. Um, but if you have uh, this perk, you press get task, you get your task after you go through that. Um, so I, I have the choice between two. I'll take Living Wyverns, don't like it. Or I can go Abyssal Beasts. Oh no. Oh no. So you can just keep on going through the dialogue and picking whichever you want. Um, instead of having to go through the, oh, cancel um, dialogue, it just skips it. So Persuasion is a very good perk. And if you don't have it, I think you should get it. Convincing Cook, you won't burn food, I think. Um, cooking Speed, not really that big of a deal. I personally love AFK. So Cooking Speed is like taking away from my AFK. So you can really just get this um, for donor rank difference. Um, but I wouldn't prioritize it. Divination, divination is easy in itself, so I wouldn't really worry about that one too much. Mining, mining is really fun, and I think a lot of people with the mining and smithing rework should prioritize mining. Um, I think this perk's great for that, so I, I wouldn't um, disregard this at all. Uh, fletching, it makes fletching quicker, and you don't need bowstrings, which is huge. So it's basically you cut logs, then you can make them into bows, and you don't need the bowstrings, which is a really tedious part, which also means that you can, so if I grab 28 magic logs here and I make shield bows, I can make 28 strung shield bows. So instead of having to do invents of 14, you can do invents of 28, which is massive um, and good for a little bit of profit if you want it, but I wouldn't be doing it for that. Pyromaniac, the bonfire um, will grant 20, 15% uh, more experience. It's not that big of a deal. Um, Huntsman, this used to be a much better perk, but we had to scale it down because we wanted to add that to other things. Um, Hunter, not that big of a deal. Um, I personally hate Hunter, and I think you should only do it with Divine Locations. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Um, divine Doubler is huge. If you like doing Divine Locations, they've actually received quite the buff in the latest update. Um, I would get this. It basically doubles your daily limit. Imbued Focus isn't a huge deal. Um, I think runecrafting itself is a pretty easy skill, so I wouldn't worry too much about that one. Um, Alchemic Smithing is massive, along with Master Miner. Like, I wouldn't disregard this one at all. Mining and Smithing is going to be your friend um, for melee equipment, so definitely consider getting this one. Stargazer. Stars are awesome. Um, they're basically AFK things that you can do every couple hours, and they give you a heap of rewards. So I would never skip a star, and I, I would never skip a star, and I'll get Stargazer so you can teleport straight to it without having to run. Arcane Alchemist re removes the requirement for runes when using High Alchemy. This is okay. Um, once you unlock machines in the Invention Guild, it's not that big of a deal. Um, skilling Addict, get it. Uh, skilling Contracts are awesome, especially with the new event um, that's come out. Oh, I missed an S. So this event, uh, where is it? Skilling contract boost. This basically means that you do not get penalized for skipping um, during this hour. And you also get a heap of rewards, which stacks with this perk. And it is very, very good. Now, pro professional disassembler. Disassemble items twice as fast. Get it. It helps. Long term, you will thank me. House Extraordinaire, I mean construction is construction, you can just do flat packs, you don't have to do this kind of stuff, um, but the Gilded Altar pr provides 20% extra prior experience, not really relevant because you can just use the Chaos Altar. Auspicious Arch, if you hate ar archaeology or if you're scared of archaeology, get this perk, it helps a lot, it is awesome, it gives you more rewards, it gives you everything you need. Same with Duplicated Excavation, doubles all the materials you get from all caches and all spots, get it. It will help you a lot. They are expensive perks, but they are worth it. Um, archaeology is an awesome skill, and I wouldn't be too um, scared by it. Like It's intimidating, obviously, because there's lots of things to know, but once you get used to it, these perks will come very much in handy. Intuitive Invention. Um, this is like a bit of a... 
quality of life perk for the late game, I think. I wouldn't be worrying too much about this um, until you get really deep into invention and perking out your gear. Uh, miscellaneous. These are some of the best perks in the game. I actually do not have many of these because I have not played in a while. Uh, but we'll go through the combat ones first. Familiar Expert. This is good. Um, once again, one of those like quality of life late game ones. You won't need your um, familiar health to be that much in the early game PVM. Um, you might in the late game when Araxor is swiping it and fucking it up. Um, but also familiar timer by 50%. Just make an extra pouch uh, if you want to save 10 bucks. But otherwise, it is a good perk. Charge Refrender, very good for the price. Um, it is obviously very expensive, but the grading is a very big part of RuneScape 3 content. So I would definitely consider getting this um, and saving yourself a bit of extra money and time. Prior Betray, I've been through that. Oh no, I haven't. Um, dr prior Drain is 20% slower. Um, very, very good. If you get to the late game and you're using prayer renewals, you'll still notice that you're draining quite quickly if you're using like the T99 prayers. Um, get prayer per chair, it will definitely help out a lot. I have a secret is basically just a passive average loader. Pretty good. Um, five bucks, why not? Key expert, uh, crystal chest doubles, um, also opens uh, twice as quick. And yeah, you can get many more keys. Um, you get double the loot from the crystal chest, which is great. Um, but also the crystal chest loot is very situational. You might not need it for very long. So it's a good perk. Uh, it has its use, but it definitely falls off. Fireproof, uh, very good. Immune to pretty much all dragon fire. I would get it if you plan on doing um, Dragonkin Laboratory or any sort of dragon combat, really. Um, it is very good. Aubrey's Apprentice. Each spell cast has a 50% chance to save all your roots. Get this fucking perk. You will thank me because going back and having to buy runes when you're using magic so much uh, is very hassle. Well, very much of a hassle. Very much of a hassle? It's a hassle. Um, get this perk. It will save you a lot of time and money uh, going back and having to restock your rune pouches. Favored familiars. Familiars no longer require scrolls to activate the special ability. This is huge. This saves you so much time. Um, it saves you from having to take all your fucking pouches to the um, obelisk and then um converting them into scrolls so get this if you have a spare for 10 bucks um if not it's not that big of a deal it's just a bit of quality of life drop catcher this is one of the best perks in the game obviously 25 bucks and it catches all the drops you want now the best part about this is you can edit what you want to catch so if i go this um, i can view all the drops that i currently have blocked um, it's not much but the best part is let's see if I have a filter, but I want to improve my filter, I can just go copy, drop, capture, supreme. And now I've copied his list, and instead of 49, I have all of the ones he's dropped, and he's um, filtered out as well. So that is very helpful. Um, now this perk, if I, let's see if anyone's got a better one. Um, let's go Dylan. I think if you can, um, CJ's would probably be the best to copy or um, Lemon Haze. But yeah, you can really copy anyone and see what um, is the best. But yeah, um, Drop Catcher is really good. If you combine Drop Catcher with a Diamond perk, the Diamond passive effect is that you all drops are noted. So Drop Catcher plus Diamond is like yeah you just clap um, and you can do whatever you want really um, but very good you can filter it it's it's easy to to filter um, and you can save a lot of time and use other people's it's basically like a path of exile drop filter now miscellaneous endless energy doesn't really matter um, treasure goblin you must get this perk um, charms going straight to your bank is just free for summoning and also uh, coins being increased and also picking them up. Um, I th think we should add like a stat of how many coins this picks up for each account because this would be an insane amount. Gold Wars Dungeon Specialist. This is a perk you need to get if you're a new player. Um, having Not having to do uh, any kill count is massive. So 
I've been watching all the YouTubers do their videos and all of them are like doing the KC and it's like, fuck, what a waste of time. Get this perk, saves you a bunch of time and you can go straight into those bosses. You can bank easy, you can go back, you can do all this stuff. It's just so much more free instead of having to think about, oh, I've got to go do all the kill count and then I can go in. You just go in. You go in, you clap some bosses, you have fun. Dr. Doolittle, this is like a late game perk. If you want skilling pets and if you want boss pets, get this perk. But um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all it's all RNG. So 25% isn't going to edit much. They are low drop rates. Overclocked, um, aura times are doubled. This is very good. If you want to keep using your vampirism, um, this is a good perk. This pretty much makes it so vampirism is an instant cooldown and the same with most other uh, most other auras. Elf's friend, uh, access to priftiness is already um, given. Uh, priftiness requires 2250 total level. Um, it is pretty good. There is a lot of things here that can be um, supplemented from um, priftiness. So I wouldn't worry about this too much unless you're like a 1x and you are uh, need those the content inside pref but otherwise it's not amazing um it will save you some time in the early game but you'll get there eventually uh, mini gamer very good pest control if you want void warriors guild it saves you a bit of time dominion tower is the biggest part of this it doubles your kill count at dominion tower which means you only have to kill 50 um, for the swift gloves swift gloves are best in slot basically uh, maybe not so anymore because they're hjp nurse but they're very good investigator um, reduces the steps required on all clue scrolls. This is very good. Um, late game, you will be grinding clue scrolls a lot. Um, so I would get Investigator. It also allows you to store up to 16 to 25, which is just awesome. Um, Investigator is very good. You will save a lot of time um, based on the amount of steps it reduces. Discounter saves you a bit of money. It You're going to be making a lot of instances. You're going to be re repairing a lot of stuff and you're going to be skipping a lot of Reaper assignments. So... It is value, um, it is expensive, but it is value. So if you plan on doing a lot of this, I would get this early, save yourself the money early. Um, if you like Barrows, um, this allows you to skip the maze. Um, it is very good. I personally hate Barrows and I vow never to go back, but then I find myself there a week later. So who knows what happens. The Boxer, two rewards when opening mystery boxes. This is very good. Uh, in inverted cape tokens have been added to mystery boxes as well as sign of the porters. So. This has received like a bit of a passive buff from that buff. Um, so yeah, the boxer is pretty good. It's expensive. I wouldn't prioritize it any over any of the other ones um, because you can always just save up all your mystery boxes, get the perk and then open them all. Dominion Domination. This gives an extra boss kill count on top of this. Um, so yeah, this just, this means instead of 50, you do 30 if you have both of them. Otherwise it's just like double. So with either it's 50, with both it's 30. Very quick, Dominion Tower sucks. Um, I'd get it done as soon as possible, but for $15, up to you. Exterminator, um, damage boost inside pest control, damage doubles the amount of rolls on the loot table. Um, not that great, but if you want to get pest control done quickly for the achievements, then go ahead and get this perk. Tree Hunter, evil trees are good. Um, for an extra five bucks, you can basically buff them. It's similar to the skilling um, addict perk. If you're going to do it um, and you have a spare five bucks, buy it. Death's Prodigy, this perk is only useful if you have the Reaper's Choice and take two perks. So um, it's a bit of a, a wall to get over, but then this perk is very worth it because those perks are very worth it. The Shepherd, um, this is for player and farms. Good perk. Um, if you plan on doing a lot of player and farms, which you likely will um, in a late game when you're looking for the potions, um, the bombs and the power burst uh, materials, these are very good. Well, this perk is very good, sorry. Big Game Expert, same thing. Um, big Game Hunter, if you plan on doing a lot, it is a very, very good perk. Um, I would recommend doing Big Game Hunter. It's an awesome piece of content. If you have never done it, do it. And this perk will make it a little bit easier for you. Rapid Recovery, um, this is cooldown reduction. Um, it's good. Late game, if you have 20 bucks, this is like the level of perks that we've just added. So people in the late game who have the means of getting the uh, perks and, uh, sorry, dollars and buying from players. Um, these are the kinds of perks you want to get. Um, so cooldown reduction is great, but if you're a level 130 doing uh, Barrows or God Wars Dungeon 1, 
it's not that impactful. But yeah, it is very good otherwise. Dungeon Dweller, same thing. Um, late game is very, very convenient. Uh, for Reaper Task, it's very, very convenient. Um, but it basically just makes it so you can skip all the elite dungeons to the bosses. Solo Adventurer, this nerfs group bosses. So in your private instance, they are soloable. This is another one where it's like, if you want to experience games by yourself, you can get this and you can go do Solo. You can go do Next Angel of Death. You can go, go do Croesus um, much easier. Sacrifice Swiftly. This is like Drop Catcher, but for um, the perk tree. So when you get a drop, it will sacrifice it other, unless you specify otherwise. There's, there, was, there was a lot of confusion with this perk at the start when it was released. Um, they thought it would be like Drop Catcher, where everything um, is not sacrificed, then you specify otherwise. But no, everything will be sacrificed until you tell it not to. So don't get this perk and then go get um, a bow of fer, a bow for, what is it? Bulger um, piece. Um, and then it disappears, it gets sacrificed, and then you're like, oh shit, why did I sacrifice that? Make sure when you get this perk that you um, add to the filter what you do not want to be sacrificed. Anyway, in summary, um, there is a lot of good perks. A lot of them have their niche uses. Um, in, this, in this slot, I would prioritize... Drop Catcher, I'd prioritize Charge Befriender, and I would prioritize Soul Siphoner or the Prayer Betrayer. Both are pretty good. Um, otherwise, pretty much everything in this um, category is very good. Um, and of course, I'm going to say that because it's a lot of money. But yeah, I would prioritize Drop ca Drop Catcher's value is like tripled when you're a Diamond member. So if you don't want to get Drop Catcher immediately, do not prioritize this one. It's not that big of a deal. But if you plan on getting Diamond eventually, this perk is fantastic. Otherwise, I'd get Soul Surf and I'd get um, Charge Befriender. In this one, I'd be getting Green Thumb. Uh, not Green Thumb, Herbivore. Uh, monsters having the ability to drop uh, clean herbs is very, very good. Persuasion is a must. If you do not have Persuasion, you should just quit the game right now. Um, Master Miner, Alchemic Smithing, also very good. Stargazer, very good. Um, if you like archaeology or if you want to delve into archaeology, these archaeology perks are very good as well. Skilling Addict, if you want to do skilling contracts, also very good. Um, lots of good perks in here, but really it's up to what you want to do. Um, I would just say the only main ones would be Persolation and Herbivore. Miscellaneous, these ones are also kind of situational. Treasure Goblin and Gold Wars Dungeon Specialist are a must. Please get these perks. They will help you a lot. Um, investigator, also a very good one. You will do a lot of clues. You may not think you will do a lot of clues, but you will do a lot of clues. And then once you start doing clues, you'll want to do more clues. Get the perk. Um, and then otherwise, it's really just up to you. Um, a lot of these newer perks are situational for late game. Um, so make sure you read them properly because they may not um, be too useful to you. Um, but yeah, you will eventually get them all because once you're on your way to master, if you ever are, um, they are very beneficial. And also these will help close the gap between these donor ranks. Um, I think if you buy all of them, $450, discount of 140, not sure that's been updated. I think it's more than that. I think it's more like 175, um, but that will get you to just uh, just before diamond. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty far there. Um, but I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I want to say brief, but it was like a 25 minute um, video. But that's a bit of an overview on the perks and what I think you should get. I'll add some timestamps below, hopefully make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And this is Iron Chode. Um, I've not done much. <laughs>